lead inferences, lots of lead inferences. Declarer can take advantage of lead inferences and the defenders can take advantage of the lead inferences. And that in fact is why on the declarer's checklist and on the defender's checklist, one of the very first things we do is interpret the opening lead. So we're now going to see why do we interpret those opening leads? And it can lead to some fun declare plays as well as some very fun defenses by interpreting that opening lead. All right, so let's say we're in a suit contract and we're missing the ace, right? So we have this combination here, king, jack, small, small, opposite, well, declare has some number of spades here, but it's, it's not a void, but it's some number of spades. And the 10 of spades is lead. Now it's suit contract. So our inference is, that West hasn't underled an ace because in no trump we underlead aces all the time. But in a trump contract, underleading aces often ends up with the defender no longer getting their ace, right? So in this combination with the 10 of spades lead against a four heart contract, the inference is that East holds the ace of spades and West may have the queen. They could be leading from the queen 10 nine right interior sequence even versus suits you have your same sequence leads and if east has the ace and the queen you can't guess it so we're not even going to play for that we're going to play for east to hold the ace because of our general rule that it's rare to underlead an ace versus a suit contract if you have to lead the suit you lay down the ace even if you don't have the king so in this case, playing east for the ace, what declarer would do would play the jack of spades and east could most likely win their ace. It is a suit contract as south follows. And now the king is good. Otherwise, it's 50-50 guess. When you have king, jack, opposite, you know, three small in declarer's hand, it's just a guess as to whether you play the jack or the king. And your general guideline is to play to the lower finesse. But when you have a lead inference telling declare where the ace is in the suit, now you can make it an educated guess and play the jack, forcing out the ace and then creating a trick with the king. Let's take a look at our next combination.